let's talk about the difference between lace top wigs and silk top wigs because it can all be a little bit confusing, right? What does that all mean? How does it work? How's it gonna affect me? Here's what you need to know. A lace top wig is a wig that has one single layer of lace in the top part of the wig, which creates the hairline and part line of the wig. I'm wearing one at the moment. This is what a lace, type, lace top wig looks like on me. And this is what it looks like inside and under the cap. Our Lux lace top wigs are a closed wefted cap wig with a lace top area that allows for multi-directional parting, moving it to the side or wearing it in the middle, whatever works for you, that looks super natural and realistic. Lace top wigs are really popular for this super realistic part line and also because they are lighter and lower density on the top than silk top wigs. Because they have this one very, very thin layer of lace as the entire construction of the cap, it is very, very light and even a little bit airy and breezy on your head and it does have less hair sewn into the top which makes it overall a bit lower density on top, which might be your preference. A silk top wig, on the other hand, actually has a couple more layers in the cap. It's got a bit more going on here. So it does have this super realistic scalp type material, which creates the part line. Again, it's multi-directional. All our pieces are, yes, you can move the part line, but that's not your scalp showing through like it is mine, it's actually part of the cap. So there are a couple of layers in a silk top, which makes it a little bit different to wear and look at. So we've got that realistic scalp there and it has a little bit more hair sewn into the top than a lace top because it needs more hair to cover that cap and make it look that realistic. So there are a little bit more density on silk tops than lace tops. And another thing that makes the top of the cap feel a bit different is that the return hairs, I'll explain what they are in a second, are actually concealed in a silk top where they are not concealed in a lace top. So what is that? Is that anything to worry about? Not at all. It's something to understand so that you can make your decision. But every single hair in this wig is obviously knotted into the wig. It's sewn into the wig. And the other side of this knot has to be somewhere, right? In a silk top, the other side of these hairs is actually inside the layers of the cap. So they're completely concealed and you do not see any return hairs anywhere. In a lace top, the hairs are not concealed because where would you conceal them? It's only one layer of lace. There's nowhere to put them. So they are exposed and you can see them, these little short hairs here in the actual hair of the wig. So it's nothing to be concerned about one way or the other. It's just something to know, I suppose. When you style a lace top wig properly, you really cannot see that, but it is something to know is there and it can look like little flyaways or something like that, which some people actually prefer because that's really normal in bio hair anyway. The other main difference between lace top and silk top is probably comfort and how it feels on your head. This might not really be obvious if you're wearing a wig over bio hair, but if you're like, me and wearing a wig directly on your bare scalp, you'll probably notice a bit of a difference between how a lace top feels and how our game changer wig feels, for example. So a lace top is just lace on your scalp um, and the rest of the cap is just on your scalp directly. Whereas the layers of the silk top cap allow us to add a really, really comfortable fabric inside the top of the cap so that you're not feeling any lace or any other parts of the cap construction basically um, directly on your head. So our Game Changer wig is for me very, very comfortable. It's just really the ultimate and the lace top wig is fine. It's fine. I can just feel it a little bit more and I really prefer to wear the wig grip with my lace top wig so that I've got something between my scalp and the lace. Now, silk top wigs, I've got two silk top wigs in my hand here. They can either have no lace front, so you blend it with your own hairline like you do with our silk toppers, or they can have a lace front like these two in my hands do. This is the lace front essentials and the game changer wig. Now, one thing that is really exciting exciting about a lace top wig is that it has no transition from lace front to silk top which if you don't know what I'm talking about let me show you because that might not make any sense otherwise on our lace front silk top wigs like our lace front essentials we have the silk top section here and then the lace front section just a small amount of lace that gives you a natural looking hairline at the front so it's growing out of your 
you've got a hairline, you don't have any hair to blend with or you don't want to blend your hair, you want a hairline in your wig, that's what a lace front wig can do while giving you all the benefits of a silk top. Now, one thing about this is obviously they're two different fabrics, two different materials. So there is a trans transition line between the two, um, which is super easily concealed with a little dab of makeup and not really a problem, but it's just something to know about silk top lace fronts and something that is not on a lace top wig, which is exciting. Let me just show you what a silk top lace front wig looks like with that little bit of makeup to blur that transition line. To me, I think that looks amazing. Like it just makes that part line continuous like you want it to look and not having a little line there. So that's something that's super exciting about our lace top wigs is obviously it's all one fabric and doesn't have any transition line. The final big difference between lace tops and silk tops is that lace tops do not generally last as long because they are a much more delicate fabric on top. It's just that one little layer of lace. Silk tops are a very, very durable type of cap construction because there are several layers to that cap and it is just more sturdy overall. So it's going to last you longer. Generally, I would say that a lace top wig would last you around a year and a silk top wig would last two to three years. So hopefully that helped. I know it can be a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot going on, but basically that is the main list of difference, the differences between lace top and silk top. And we're so excited to have all these different options to offer and tick all the boxes that you need ticked.